idea behind it is that I'll use the iron here to raise up to around 150 160 degrees Celsius and that should melt the glue most of the glue around the CPU and also the indium it should melt it enough so that the substrate and the um, integrated heat sink will come apart they'll just kind of snap apart but um, I could also be destroying my CPU, so we'll see which one of the two. So I'm going to start by taking the uh, 3600 out of the little test bench that I got here. <clears throat> oh man, some ideas uh, sound good on paper and the others are just plain dumb. <laughs> like, like this one here. I don't know if this is a great idea. I don't know if I should go through with it, but you know what? I hate the temperatures on this chip. I have lapped the CPU. I have done whatever I could, um, everything that I could for it, but it's still, it gets pretty hot. And it is making good contact with the with the cold plates, so this might be the last time I uh, I see my faithful old thirty six hundred alive. All right, and the idea is that I get let's see if this thing focuses here um, to get the blade this blade here in each corner, okay? So and I kind of have to make sure that it doesn't go like in like this because then it'll it'll go into the substrate so it has to be kind of lined up with the substrate so i don't chip anything in there it's just to cut in into the glue It does feel like the blade goes in there, so you can see it's it is going into the cutting into the glue there. So should be okay. Now I don't know if I'm hitting any SMDs. Hopefully not. Most likely I am. Okay. Well, I think yeah. It doesn't matter. You can touch the pins. Um, but I think that is as far as this is going to let me go in. Right, and the other clever genius idea that I had was to, or is to use one of these here. And as you can see there, it's got that little line there where you can snap this off. So they look like this. Okay, and I'm going to use this here. I'm going to use these as little wedges, just focusing, as little wedges and stick them in here like that or get a better angle here. And stick them in here. Just to put pressure on the uh, between the IHS and the heatsink or the IHS and the substrate and I'm gonna lay it down like this on the iron ironing I don't know what the hell would you call this thing uh, anyway and as it begins to as the glue begins to melt and as the indium begins to melt this pressure here alone should snap the two you know separate the uh, the substrate from the integrated heatsink so we'll see if that works all right well that's what it looks like focus so i'm not very optimistic about this and this is probably the dumbest thing i've done in a while uh, not the dumbest thing i've ever done but one of the dumbest things i've done in a while um, 
because even though yeah it is I don't like the temperatures I mean the CPU works just fine it's not like it's horrendous or anything like that um, okay so all right we'll stick with that there put some thermal paste on there we're gonna heat this thing up actually I'm gonna put some thermal paste on here first put some thermal paste on there and then put it on there and then heat the thing up yeah we'll do that a nice coat of MX-5 has been applied, as you can see there. So let's give this a shot, shall we? All right, so I have started the uh, iron now. And I don't like how hot that's getting. Right now it's just the indium holding this stuff together. As I can see, the glue is already given way. So I think I'm gonna have to call it quits. It's just it's not working. All right, this is gonna be my last attempt at this because nothing I'm doing here is working. Obviously I'm doing something wrong. I'm just my methodology or the way I'm doing this is wrong, completely wrong and noobish. Oh, okay. Wow, there we go. Cool. Oh, 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 this is burning. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Oh man, that is burning. And I can smell the wood also burning underneath. But, um, okay, yeah. So that's what a 3600 looks like in person. Hmm, cool. Um, man, I just hope I didn't ruin the CPU. Because <laughs> that would suck. Okay, now I gotta get this stuff over here. And plug that thing, yep. here and you get out of here hopefully I don't start a fire here okay there we go well <laughs> um, that's I guess one way of deleting a 3600 CPU not that I recommend that you do this because not only does it void your warranty, but most likely you end up destroying the CPU, just like I may have. Um, I won't find out until I put this in the system and see if it boots, see if it turns on. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see if this worked. Well, first we got to get that indium off of there and also off the... Um, the IHS, which is, by the way, really freaking hot right now. Um, but yeah, there it is. And yeah, it's a pretty noobish way of doing it, but you know what? It worked. Um, yeah, it melted the indium and deleted the CPU. I don't know if it works. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, that's hot.